back with some more Dawn of Destiny. Alright, welcome back guys. In the last episode, uh, well, we faced uh, the duelist of Tier 3 here on Dawn of Destiny. I'm just going to let the epic intro here kind of finish things up while I get you guys set up there. Uh, I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, I think I got most of that in frame there. Anyway, last episode, we finished, uh, we actually didn't finish the duels against the tier three, but, uh, yeah, we went against them all, and Yami Yugi, he kicked our ass. That bastard. But in this episode, hopefully we will get revenge. So, gonna load the save here. Uh, now, I remember we did win some good cards against him, though. Despite the loss and everything. Uh, Big Shield Gardner and... I think Spellbinding Circle? Ooh, that felt like a little bit of a freeze there. That's a little scary. Never really had this game freeze before. Uh, okay, yeah, we added those in the deck. Uh, you know, I thought about grinding off-screen before taking these guys on again. And this is a new recording session, in case you're wondering. But yeah, I thought about it, and I'm just like, I, I think we can get them, man. I, I really do. But uh, this tier has definitely, yeah, been a wake-up call, that's for sure. Uh, I think I want the order the same. Uh, well, no, actually, I want the cure first. Yeah, because he gave us some trouble as well last time, so we'll see how things go. Please, let's begin. I will let you know I have great confidence in my deck. I'm sure you do. <laughs> Alright, we'll be first there. Uh, by the way, funny story. Uh, I started to record this uh, earlier, but then I, I looked outside and I was like, What? It's lightning outside. I was like, no way, because we haven't had rain here in about... I don't know, I want to say like... It's been a while, like almost 40 days. I was like, no way, there's, you know, there's just, just, just no way. It's uh, raining, raining outside or lightning. And yeah, sure enough, it was. So, you know, I didn't want there to be a, oh, a typhoon already, man? All right. Well, that sucks. I kind of wanted to keep Royal Decree because a lot of the players play with tons of traps. But, all right, Bakura. And tribute up to... Okay, okay. <laughs> this is just it, man, isn't it? The the LP curse. This is... This is my life. This is... <laughs> this is what I get for deciding to LP this game. Oh, okay. You know what? That's not... Despite taking the damage there, that's not nearly as bad as it could have been. Because as you see here, this is the card he powered up last time. Uh, we took on this tier. Maha Vilo. Uh, pretty good card overall, especially the way Bakura uses it. Yeah, if you give it even one power up, then it's at 2050, and that's, you know, that's enough to break through most of my... Really? No monsters, Bakura. Well, thanks. You, you just wanted to get in that one direct attack, huh? You bastard. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, I started to record this earlier, and yeah, the lightning was outside, and I was like, oh man, I don't want, you know, the, I don't want there to be a power surge, and then my Xbox to crash, you know, I get the, the red ring of death. Not much for all that, but, uh, wow, yeah, this, uh, that's, that's definitely a good start. Uh, you're a great duelist, like I thought, perhaps in the future, I will be the one who emerges victorious. When uh, my Gata transforms me. Alright, and we have Shadi again. I don't think I want to change any cards here. Alright, perhaps you're the one our people have been searching for. Let us see if you are worthy. Alright, Shadi, bring it on. Alright, so hopefully we can take these guys down again. But you know, I honestly. I wouldn't mind a little trouble <laughs> with any of these guys, and, and and as funny as that sounds, I mean, it's like, well, why wouldn't you just want an easy win? Well, 
uh, despite my, you know, kind of shock and awe at the, the last episode, despite all of that, I found that it was pretty entertaining. Uh, but one thing I did want to point out uh, about the loss in our duel, yeah, we didn't draw like two of our best cards. Ooh, Goblin Attack Force. Nice, bro. Nice. But, um, so we're going to get a search off of Mystic Tomato here. Uh, let me just think for a second. What do I want? Well, because Giant Soldier is going to go to defense, so I think I want Kamori Dragon. I mean, my choices aren't much different there between Kamori and Blackland. Well, except Kamori has better defense, so yeah, in the end, I'd probably like to get just three Kamori. And really, I kind of want to replace. I want three Mystic Tomato, you know, and then three Kamori. And, um, Trap Ball. Okay. Yeah, that's why I didn't really, you know, just go with Hyosube first turn there. Just got a feeling, man. You know, Trap Ball. Yeah. Everybody use, seems to use Trap Ball, so. No big surprise there. But, uh, I didn't attack Goblin Attack Force because it's stuck in defense mode for one more turn, so. Not really too worried about it, you know, because even if it does get an attack through, I mean, yeah, it'll hurt. Yeah, it'll do damage, but still, that's, you know, that's. It's going right back to defense mode uh, for a couple turns, so. I think this turn I'll. I guess I could get a direct attack. Possibly. All right, we'll try for the direct attack. Magical Thorn, okay, not the worst thing in the world. Uh, but hopefully he doesn't play card destruction here. I don't even know if he has it. But if he did have it, that would be 2,500 points of damage. Yikes. Deadly combo. But yeah, after this, you know, tier, whether I win or lose, uh, we're definitely gonna grind for some more cards. That's for sure. So, um, yeah, because this, this tier has been the wake-up call. But anyway, like I was saying, uh, looks like this duel is over versus Shoddy, but, yeah, in the last duel, man, like, we didn't get two of our best cards, Trihorn Dragon or Cybertech Alligator, and Cybertech Alligator, that would be great, really, um, in this next duel we're about to have with Yami Yugi, because that has 2,500, and it's only one tribute, so... Perfectly matched with his, you know, Dark Magician. Can it be? Are you the one? Are you the one our people have been seeking? I don't know. I could be. <laughs> Little Kuribo's like, bitch, I might be. <laughs> uh, that, was a, that was a horrible impersonation. Alright, but it's time for the moment everyone has been waiting for. Rematch time. Yami Yugi, round two. Every deck has a chance to win as long as you believe in the heart of the cards. Let's duel, sucker. Alright. Bring it on, Yami Yugi. I think we can get you this time. Marie in the first hand and a couple traps. Well, a couple spells. I mean, I'd like to see that. Well, I mean, we can't attack the first turn, so... I'm gonna set Turtle Tigler... Of my words. I'm actually gonna set Movie on Curie, and sometimes you'll see me do this, but yeah, I mean, it only increases your life points by 200, which eh, isn't that much. So, the main reason I set it is usually I'm trying to bait out like Harpies for the Duster. Okay, first turn Raigeki, and I'm getting flashbacks, y'all. Yeah, I mean, maybe I could have sworn you did that same move last time. Hmm. Kelsey Guardian direct attack. Yeah, that's gonna hurt a little bit, but honestly, there's a lot worse he could have done that turn. Again, again, just like the duel we just had with uh, Shot. Yeah, could have been a lot worse. I mean, yeah. So now we'll just attack with Blackland Fire Dragon. All right. 100 points back at you. Pretty good duel here. We're at 50 50. He's at 3,900. Um, do I want to play Rush Recklessly? You know, I noticed that too in the last duel. I kind of wasted Rush Recklessly. Um, I think, in fact, he magic jammered it. 
Nah, you know what? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That movie's got me confuzzled. Okay, good. Played in defense mode. That's that's what I like to see. Okay. Makes me feel a lot better about that rush recklessly decision. Okay, so this turn, we're gonna sacrifice for Marie, the fallen one, who helped us out significantly, and I'm very glad to see her in my opening hand. Helped us out very significantly in the last duel. Okay, Giant Soldier Stone. You know what? Uh, I could play Rush Recklessly here. But like I said, I don't want to waste it. And, I mean, yeah, I could have took it down there. But, um, we have other cards that can take care of Giant Soldier Stone. So I'm not, you know, I'm not really 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 worried about that so yeah we'll see how that pays off I mean I might regret that decision but yeah we'll see we'll see penguin soldiers see that's <laughs> that's exactly the card I was thinking I was like <laughs> I was just about to say that as we drew it I was just thinking man you know if we get penguin soldier I can just return that to his hand bing bang boom no problem this tool's going pretty well honestly Oops, and I forgot to set Penguin Soldier. That's on me. So if he plays Dark Magician here, which he's going to, because he's Yugi. Okay. I mean, it's really not the end of the world, because we have Penguin Soldier, so we can just put it right back in his hand. Um, no, I'm not going to play Rush Recklessly. But yeah, I mean, we'll recover those life points really in no time, with uh, Marie now being in the graveyard. So, not too worried about that. I mean, normally, yeah, I probably should be worried. You should be like, oh my god, Yugi Star Magician. This is, that's his favorite card. That's his best card. Oh my god. I mean, but that's... No, I mean, as long as you've got something like Penguin Soldier, Man Eater Bug, something with a good effect, or maybe you even have some good spells by this point, you can defeat Dark Magician. And what did he summon there? I think it's Genju Gatsuna. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> like, some of the names I say, like, you'll notice, like, they're from the sub. But this is Gazelle. That's right. The King of Beasts. Uh, yeah, like, I almost even called Dark Magician Black Magician. Because that's... Yeah, but, but that's just... That's just me. Alright. And return both cards to his hand. He has nothing on the field. Looking good. Gain them life points. Thank you, Marie. How many cards we got in the graveyard? Four. So, if I get one more monster in the graveyard, I'll set Backup Soldier. Because uh, I think, yeah, last time I set Backup Soldier, he like, he Harpy's Feather Dusted it. But I got to chain it right away, so. The stool, it's got a bit of deja vu. I mean, yeah, some things are different here and there, but, I mean, overall, most of the same things are happening. Yami mean, Yugi's still, you know, summoning Dark Magician. Okay, now here, See, like, I could simply, you know, defend with Prevent and Rat and hope for a second Penguin Soldier. But that's, you know, that's, I don't know. What are the odds of that? I don't know. So I'm going to play Rush Recklessly, and Gemini Elf's going to kill itself. So, haha! -ha! Counter Attack. Dragon Flame. And that's it. He didn't play any cards, so. Yeah, and I was right about the draw. Got uh, Alligator Sword, so... Hey, man, I'm cool with that, Yugi. Ooh, but does he have Karibo? God damn it. <laughs> I swear, every time I think, you know, I've got a dual one against Yami, Yami Yugi, I think of the alternative. I mean, he could have Karibo. He's got five cards in his hand. Do you have Karibo? Come on. You don't have Karibo, do you? No, you would have played it there, right? I think this duel's won, man. Come on. That was a good attack. And just like that, we went a lot easier than last time. A lot easier. No, I lost. I guess you wanted to win much more than I did. It was a great duel. Uh, this one, honestly, Yugi, scale of uh, 1 to 10, I'd say this was like a 4. Okay, now for the statues. When you win, you get to pick one of the statues. Now... I don't know if this is true or not, 
but usually I pick the statue that most relates to the character. Um, so I'm going to pick Slifer. I mean, that's what I picked last time. Oh, wow. See, we got like a trap card and a spell and some kind of ritual card, which I'm not sure of. Um, but yeah, we'll check those cards out. And that duel went a lot faster than I expected. I mean, that that one we had last episode, pretty epic, but yeah, not the same case this time. Glad I saved Rush Recklessly. That turned out to be the key. And Penguin Soldier, top deck, that, that came in clutch too, so. Uh, this is Skull Guardian, interesting. With Novox's Prayer, hmm, not the best ritual, but eh, good defense though, I mean, like that. Uh, Banner of Courage, during your battle phase only, attack of all your cards is increased by 200. Again, not the best thing in the world, but, I mean, considering what your starter deck is at the beginning of this game, eh, 200 could honestly help you. In fact, I'm probably going to sw swap this out for Muyan Curry, because that card's just... I mean, you, you guys see what I do with it. I just basically... Sometimes set it as bait and nothing more. So, yeah, Muyan. I mean, I guess I'll put it to the side. Cause, and and that's the thing about this deck is sometimes you don't really think about the cards in your side deck, but it actually does end up mattering in most cases. Metal detector. Again, not the best card, but you know if you're going up against someone who, all oh, right, I need to take out two cards now. Who has like a I don't know, like a, like the uh, Gravity Bind or Fairy Box, yeah. Then it would work pretty well against them. Um, I'm just going to take out the Horn Imps at this point. I think they've kind of become, yeah, pretty obsolete there. Alright, but that left us with a lot of time, so, um, wow, I mean, that really did leave us with quite a bit of time. What do I want to do? You know what? Um, I wasn't really planning on this, but um, I think we're going to take on the other tier. And, I mean, normally I take on, like I would switch the order to where Bakura is last year, so I can unlock Bakura. But... Uh, there is one duelist, as you can see here at the end, Mako Tsunami. Um, now, you guys know that I really... Yeah, we're going to start Tier 4 here. <laughs> you must be dumb as a dog beetle if you think your monsters are tough to my lovely bugs. <laughs> fire, fire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> I'm going to have to take a drink on that one. It kind of got to my throat. Mm. Ah, that's a little better. Alright, and this is the first time we've drawn Spellbinding Circle. Good card, I want it from Yugi. Uh, basically, as long as this card is on the field, the affected monster cannot change its battle position, except with a, an effect, uh, essentially. And when the monster goes away, this card goes away, so... Man, I love the music on this tier. I love the music in this game, man. This is just a freaking awesome game. I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. I, I mean, I probably said that so many times by now, but... Yeah, uh, the last guy on this tier is Mako Tsunami, as I was saying. And, uh, yeah. I really want to unlock him because... Um... Yeah, I really love using a water deck strategy. Um, yeah, and Banner of Courage is actually going to help us out here during our battle phase. Because as you can see, he just played Giant Flea, which only has 1,500. So, Banner will get us to 16. And we'll set anti ragaki because it seems like every AI has Ragaki. Uh, but anyway, I'm, I'm talking all over the board. Which is good for an LP, right? I mean, that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to talk to those keep going. Hurt! <laughs> my bug. My bug got squashed. <laughs> fire, fire. <laughs> he just straight up said screech. But anyway, yeah, I want to unlock Mako in single duel mode so I can grind against him for cards, like for sure. 
Ooh, Jirai Gumo. Dang, dude. That is a powerful monster. Like, seriously. Um, now, Jirai Gumo. Here's the thing. You saw the coin flip. Basically, um, yeah. That's the kicker with Jirai. And I'm actually going to play a Spellbinding Circle here. But, yeah. Powerful card. Very powerful card. 2200. However, if you flip wrong on the coin flip, you have to pay half your life points. And as you can see, your opponent can still negate your attack. So, very, very, very risky card. Um, do we want to win that card? Actually, yes. Um, but here's the kicker. Like, the main thing I want to win that card for is to basically just summon it in attack mode and just kind of just leave it there as a as weird as it sounds as a offensive wall because I mean especially in these tier duels you can see that the life point amount you pay is way like is not even close to worth the uh, risk so uh, do I want to set Aquamador? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, but yeah, the payoff is not even close to worth it. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, since his Dragumo can't attack, I mean, we'll we'll take out whatever else he summons with uh, whatever we got if we can. So, all right, and we got Bolt and Scargo in our hand. Oh, we sacrificed it. Really? Wow, interesting. For what? I wonder. What? Hercule. Um, hmm, not, I mean, yeah, he did 100 points of damage, but was that really the best decision? I don't, I don't agree with that. Yeah, sometimes the AI does really, I don't know, like, that was, that was definitely a questionable move, and I got Harpy's Feather just here, so, I mean, that's basically game. If he would have left... I mean, just like I was talking about, ha, Trap Hole, knew it, everybody has Trap Hole. But yeah, if he would've just, like, left Jirai in attack mode, kind of like I was talking about, and not attacked with it, um, yeah, I mean, it would've took me a while, but, yeah, he could definitely could've stalled this out, but now, I'm just gonna finish him off with Aquamador, so, I don't know, Weevil, that, that was... You're no Yami Yugi, let me say that. <laughs> My insect didn't swat out of the sky. <laughs> Puns. <laughs> Alright, and now we take on Rex Raptor. Uh, we didn't lose many points there, so I'm not really worried about the card swap. <laughs> My dog's so bright. Well, do I are you into little dino trunks? <laughs> Clever. <laughs> I really can't. I think my Weevil impersonation is leagues above my Rex impersonation. Alright, Rex Raptor, what do you got? You know, I'm, I really don't remember dueling Rex at all. Uh, I know he uses a Dino deck, like for sure, but beyond that, I mean, I really don't remember... But, what? <laughs> Petit Dragon, dude, that's your turn? He just... Okay, and he has a fusion. Okay, he has Brock... How would you say that? Brachioritis? Brachioradius? I don't know. But dude, that's your turn? <laughs> like, you summon that? That in attack mode? Dude, I'm gonna... Like, I don't know. I, I kind of want to save Celtic... I started to put Celtic Guardian and Lightning Bay. But blade? What is it? Lightning Blade. I mean, but like... This is a joke, right? Like... <laughs> Why would you ever summon that in attack mode, bro? He tisked. Rex Raptor, like, seriously? I mean, my god, dude, like, what are you doing? Okay, Raigeki, okay. You see what I mean? Everybody has Raigeki, I don't know. Bzz. That's a cool card, though. That's cool, okay. I mean, but, like, why not put Petite? I don't know. Like I said, man, the AI sometimes is a weird thing. Now, see, that was a good attack. That, yeah, that might actually, you know, impact what happens later in the tier. I don't know. We'll have to see. 
Uh, now, Hyosube and Sword have the same points, but here's the thing. Is eventually, and my deck, uh, believe it or not, my deck kind of, I don't know if I talked about this last episode, but my deck kind of actually works against itself, which you never want to do. Do as I say, not as I do, right? Because, like, this Lightning Blade card, I mean, yeah, it's good. Gives you an 800 point boost, but it lowers your water cards. And, you know, I've got the field card, Legendary Ocean, and I got. I mean, they're not the best water monsters to begin with, but I got, like, Grappler, Hyosube. So. I mean, really, truthfully, I may want to build. And you can have up to three decks in this game. I don't know if I've said that yet or not, but. Yeah, truthfully, I may want to like take all the water cards I have in the stick out and then you know put them in a separate deck and just kind of yeah because you, you never really want that as a duelist you never want your cards Tomozaris dude like somebody get this guy out of here I mean really I, I mean I guess I don't know maybe he has wait we can finish it right now Let's go. Let's, this is a wrap. Like, um, yeah, maybe Rex is better in single duel than I remember, but that was far too easy. Sorry, Rex. You proved no challenge. Uh, 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 my diamonds have gone the, the way of the duel. Uh, 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 that was a fluke. Uh, let's do it again. Like, totally. No. Well, actually, yes, let's duel again because that was super easy. Okay. Down to Menko Tsunami, we have 8,800 points. So that's pretty good. Um, yeah, and hopefully we win and unlock him because I'm sure... You know what, guys? I'll probably end up dueling... I don't know if I'll show every duel recorded because I'll probably end up dueling him like 99 times, I swear. Well, maybe not that many, but a lot. Fishing is so much easier when the guppy swims right into my net. Here I come. Oh, uh, I love Mako. I can't really do his voice, but, oh, uh, such a great character. He has really one of the best, you know, oh, listen to that beat. Heck yeah, man. <laughs> oh, I love this game, man. I love this game. Okay, I'm going to set down anti Raigeki. Sorry I have to commentate over the epic music. It's just, it's just, you know, that's, that's the way it's gotta be. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna sit down anti Raigeki, because, like I said, everybody seems to have Raigeki, so... And Spellbinding Circle, yeah. Good thing is, we have Harpy's Feather Duster, because Mako does Raigeki. Big surprise! Oh, look at his face when you activate his spell card. <laughs> so, he's so happy, but, um... Yeah. Nope. No thanks, Mako. I think I'll keep my monsters. What do you got, man? Uh, well, he didn't attack with us, so I have no idea what it is. But we'll check. We'll, we'll, we'll check out his deck. What do you got? Turtle Tiger. Okay, I have that card. It's it's a decent card. Um, what do I want to do here? You know what? I think I just want to set Aquamador. Um, yeah. But yeah, Mako actually does have a strategy here. And it's going to be one we're going to adopt, actually. And it is the Tribute Summon. Nice. It is the Tornado Wall strategy. And with that strategy... Oh, what? Dude, he played... He played Turtle Tribute on his own summon. Okay. Not much I can do about that. Um, interesting move, though. Hmm. That actually worked out in his favor because I had two monsters with uh, 2,000 defense. Hmm. I could play Harpies, but the thing is, we still have Spellbinding Circle, so. I mean, that can hold off. You know, if he. Okay, good. Tag went through. But yeah, that. I was thinking that could hold off if that would have been. Trapple. Oh man, I love the drums in this song, man, though. It's just so. Oh, I 
of this game, man. Okay, high tide Gyojian. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Spellbinding turn. Hopefully. What in the deep sea? <laughs> Good one. Oh, uh, ooh, Trihorn Dragon. I don't know if we'll be able to get that out. But if we can. I mean, where were you in the duel, you know, last episode, right? For Xiaomi Yuki? Trihorn Dragon! Oh, we did not have the heart of the cards then. But that's okay. That's okay. We will persevere. Is that Hyosube? Oh yeah, I recognize that. Okay. But as you can see, yeah, he has some good level 4, you know, water, water cards. And uh, we want that, you know, in the future for our deck. So... Now, what I could do here, what I'm probably gonna do, is, you know, I don't know if he has any two tribute monsters, like Sui Jin, but I don't want to risk it, you know, him getting that out, so, yeah, I'm gonna suicide kill on Hyosube. Oh, uh, kind of a questionable decision, considering I have Trihorn, and that's... You know, that's definitely what you want, but I don't know. Might pay off. We'll see. We'll see if that was the right move or not. I don't know. I just don't want to... Is that firecracking? Man. Yeah. Yeah, he has some... Uh... <laughs> as you guys can tell, I really recognize these water cards, huh? But, uh, yeah. As you can tell, he has some, you know, some decent cards. Um, Luckily, we... Yeah, that was... That was part of the cards there. We got Battle Loss. That's great. That's fantastic. Because we had no monsters in hand we could summon there, so. Ah, uh, pretty key draw there. I think I have five in the graveyard now. Yeah. So we can set Backup Soldier. Get us some more monsters in our hand. Alright, Mako. Your move. What you got? You gonna Tribute? Dark Hole? I don't know, man. Seven Color Fish. Nice, man. I'm, I'm telling you, see, this is why I wanted to unlock this guy. Because uh, that's the same strategy we want to go for eventually. Is, um, yeah, like Gravity Bind, Legendary Ocean. That way, uh, most of these, like, you know, powerful level fours. Uh, okay, I gotta pay attention here. So we want Aquamador for sure. <laughs> that kind of rhymes. Um, Mystical Elf, and probably Kamori Dragon. Well, actually, have I drawn my Equip card? I have not, so I'll take Celtic Guardian on the odds that we draw Lightning Blade. Okay, but yeah, anyway, like I was saying, um, yeah, as you can see, some pretty good level 4s, uh, like Seven Colored Fish, you know, he has another one, Giant Red Sea Snake, I mean, even that Gilgian, it's... It's not bad. So, Legendary Fisherman got his key card out. Not a big surprise there. Good card. Um, but yeah, that's the strategy we're going to kind of want to go for. Is Tornado Wall, Gravity Bind. I mean, that way, those powerful cards I was talking about, those become level 3 with Legendary Ocean out. And then you can, we can still attack. And also, excuse me, I'm just going to set Aquamador here. But also in that same strategy, what we want is Catapult Turtle. I mean, that way, yeah, you can kind of see the idea behind that strategy. The catapult Turtle, uh, I don't think we've seen it in any duel yet, but um, yeah, if you tribute a card, half the damage, half the attack power is inflicted as damage. So that's cool. We definitely want that. Okay. So, <clears throat> the past two turns there, we got our defenses going. Um, so now I think we want to play Harpy's Feather Duster, or try to. Um, because I think I'm going to play Trihorn Dragon. Okay, see, he had, oh, wow, Torrential Tribute, man, that's like his second one. Okay, well, we definitely want to try to win that from Mako as well. But this duel isn't over, not by a long shot. I mean, we haven't, we haven't won yet, for sure. Um, so yeah. Now, let's see. Wait, can I target this? I guess I can. Okay, yeah. That's right. Its effects only apply while uh, Umi's on the field. 
But yeah, while Umi's on the field, I'll just show you guys. No big hurry with this duel or anything. Yeah. Unaffected by spells cannot be attacked. So, eh, pretty good. We kind of want that in our deck as well. So, yeah, like I said, a lot of cards we want from uh, Mako. So, kind of glad the other tier went by pretty quickly because, yeah. Now, I think this is game. Let me see. 2850, 1650. I think that's exactly game. Yeah, I want to say it is. So Spellbinding Circle kind of came in clutch there because he kept that monster on the field the whole time. So 1200, boom. There we go. Tier 4, done. All right, Mika, what do you have to say? No, I've been chopped to chop. <laughs> oh my god, the puns. <laughs> Uh, poor Mako. Great character, man. I love you, though. I love you. Uh, however, I failed before a worthy full of sap. No regrets. See, you gotta love that guy. You, you gotta love him. Alright. And now, these duelists don't relate to anybody, so... I think you're supposed to pick Opalus, but, I mean, again, I don't know. I mean, sometimes... Yeah, Deep Sheet Shark, I guess. And, yeah, Treasure Chest, not bad either. As well as Bug Roth. But, uh, yeah, so I didn't expect to do it. I expected just to do the Tier 3 rematch in this episode. But, turns out that went by kind of quickly, so we kind of skipped ahead to Tier 4, unlocked Mako in single. And then the next tier we have uh, Bones, Banded Keith, and Pegasus. So, that will be interesting once we get there. But, uh, in the meantime, I do have my capture device going, so I'm going to end this off here for the commentated episode, but in the next episode, um, there won't be any commentary, but basically we're going to take on, actually I'll probably do some single duels first, and then we'll take on tier 3 again, and tier 4, of course, to unlock the remaining duelists and also like I said tier 3 was a big wake-up call so we might do like quite a bit of grinding you know until I get some of the better cards that I want so uh, in the meantime I'm gonna save but that will be all Oops. oh yeah yeah usually I said the first slide but that will be all for this episode I want to thank you guys for joining me and I will see you next time in Dawn of Destiny. Bye-bye.